Hello everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel in EssenceOfMe.com. I'm coming to you all today because I am unboxing my June yarn box. So, if you're interested in seeing what I have in here, <laughs> then stick around. Okay, here we go. So again, my name is Dana with the Freedom Please channel in EssenceOfMe.com. I'm coming to you all today with my yarn box for June 2014. And I am going to, oh, well, as always, caution yarn inside may cause extreme happiness. I love that every time I, here we go. I got my keys this time. I hope that you all are doing well and that you are enjoying your summer. Here we go. Or the beginning of your summer. It's still so early, right? So, here's the inside as always. And let's see what goodies I have in here. It says, Bejeweled June. We couldn't have been more excited to introduce this month to you. It might just be one of the most luxurious months of yarn box yet. Hannah and the team at Art Yarns have created a trio of unusual tones to help you celebrate summer in style. This month, each box will contain two coordinating skeins of yarn of Art Yarns Super Merino. Oh, I love Merino. Accented by a beautiful sequenced and beaded mini skein. I can't look, wait to look inside the box. Hold on. What fun you'll have combining these in all possible directions. Will you use them together or for separate projects? It's up to you. Designer and yarn and art yarns director I, Iris Skiriner, excuse me, <laughs> presents a pattern especially designed for this trio. Free in your yarn box pattern library. Be sure to check out the rest of her extensive design collection. Uh, crochet Addicts Unite with Julie from Arco Crochet. Ar Some of these names are very creative. I see the crochet in it. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. And explore her fun and creative pattern collection, starting with the Ski Bunny hat. Work it up in a skein of your Super Moreno for a truly unique accessory. You'll also notice a new addition to your yarn box. Flip this card over to explore a stitch pattern that suits this yarn perfectly. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to show you first the back. So this is the card, and I love reading it because I like knowing what I'm getting inside the box and I'm sharing it with you. I mean, it just makes the video that much more interesting. And on the back, for the first time, they are offering a stitch, and it is the double moss stitch. There is a picture of the stitch as well as the knitting directions, which are very straightforward. But the cool thing about this is if they continue to do this, then you can just keep the cards. And it's a lot less wasteful as well as being informative. So this will be great to... um include with your either stitch bloop, stitch dictionary or you could even get a um, index card box and start filing them away alphabetically so I hope they continue that that would be a great idea so let's see what else is in here I'm not going to get to the juicy yarn because it, according to that card that means it must be at least two potentially three skeins of something going on in this box so for the first one, which is the knit piece, oh, this is pretty. It says, Yarn Box presents Iris Skeener, Screener, Schooner, Screen, Iris. <laughs> it says, Holiday Lace Cowl or 200 Yard Scarf, which is awesome. 200 yards of yarn. Okay, and then it says, Free Pattern in Your Yarn Box Library. I don't know if they're the same, but I'm going to show you anyway. How would you say that? Well, you can't tell me in the comments. So we're just going to. Now, this is something that I would like. Here's a, a better picture, I think, of the the of the of um, actual pattern. But don't, the, the beads on this is pretty. Look at that. And for the crochet, it's Farfella Shaw in the Polka Dot Reversible Cowl. Yarn Box Crescents. A... Crochet. 
And this is that the bunny hat that I was talking about. And I guess here is, these must just be samples on one side. Okay. Now to the yarn. Ooh. <laughs> okay. These are two. Okay, look. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, let me pull it out and see what we have going on here. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. And this is a lot of yarn. Oh, okay. I'm going to... I'm going to show you, then I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. Here's the first skein. And this is Super Merino, 100% Merino wool. It's 208 yards. It's a 100 gram skein. I'm trying to see, well, it just has color H13. The, uh, it says art yarns, elevate your art. Color H13, get inspired. They have their Facebook information and their website as well as irisknits.com. And here it is. It's pretty. This is like my color palette, totally. And here's the, other skein. Now, at first, when I was looking at it in the box, I could only see this part. I was like, okay, how is this going to go together? But look at this little portion here with this portion. This is very interesting. And this is color 1029. So it doesn't have. Okay, so how would I know? I'm assuming because of the needle size that's on here that this is probably considered a worsted weight maybe. It feels like it. And this is also 208 yards, so that's 400 yards. And then, then they have this sequenced. And actually, before I show you the sequence, let me just do this one again. And so you can see the different transitions here. Look at this pink and peach and on the underside this look at this area. This is gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna have to think about that. Now here is this it's a beaded silk sequence. And this says oh no. It says beaded silk sequins light, 100% silk with merino glass beads and sequins. Oh, I see them. Okay, let me bring it a little closer. That's a bead there. Those are little beads. And then there's the little sequins. So it's beads and sequins. Now, this looks like this will be enough to put as a pretty border. Ooh. I know I'm not going to put this with these. I um, have this um, black. It's just a solid black. And I was putting together my stuff for my summer stash, uh, summer stash slash. And it's a DK weight plain black. And this would be fantastic to do as a border or some sort of accent on that. And that would dress up the black. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let me see how many yards. This is not very much. 40 yards. So this is not a lot. But this is pretty. And this would be just enough if you did something to even just crochet a really basic single uh, single crochet all the way around something. Because the beads and the sequins would do all of the work. And I wonder why did they choose this gray? Does that look like that would go together to you? Put it in the comment section. I don't think so. I don't plan on putting them together. Okay, so that is it. Here are the yarns. I guess I could put it this way. What do you think? 
I always ask what we all make, and we all say the same thing. We always say a shawl. This is definitely not sock yarn. This would be, I think, for sure a shawl. And I did, um, I don't know. I'm going to check out these patterns because this one that says 200 yards would be enough. But a while ago, I purchased a, um, oh, I just thought of one. But I purchased the Follow My Arrow crochet, um, knit along, and I didn't get a chance to do it. But I, I still have it. I think this weight is a little too heavy for that, though. So I'm going to have to think about it. I'm going to research it on Ravelry, too, just to see what the weight of this yarn is. Because I'm almost certain that it is, um, that it's worsted. And it feels so soft. I like this one most of all. I like this more than this. But this would is intriguing me because these are colors that I wouldn't pick. Especially since they said to kind of brighten up your, you know, for the summer. But this, man, two skeins of this would have been awesome. But this would make it so that it's something that I wouldn't necessarily pick. But it would challenge me. So there we go. This is my yarn box for June. If you received the yarn box, what did you get? If not, what do you think about this pairing? I mean, it seems a little bit different, odd. I'm so excited. I don't like this more than the yarn that I got last month. I'm not even going to tell the story. But I love this. And this is enough for me to get excited about this. And this, well, this was just awesome. I almost... I really think I'm going to pair this with the black that I have. That would be so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. And I wonder, this must be, oh yes, dry, clean, normal. See, this is a U.S. size 6. I don't know. Anyways, that is that. Um, let me know if you have comments. Let me know <laughs> if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Tell me what you think about this yarn box. Um, I can't wait to... Now, before I get ready to sign off, you all know that I am on... Well, for if you're new to my videos, hello. If not, you are... If you're a repeat and a subscriber, welcome back as always. That I am doing this summer stash slash. I have not hadn't um, been updating yet because I've been getting everything organized and I'm almost certain that this is going to just run over into the fall and into the probably into the end of the year but it's okay because it has required me to get myself organized and get everything in place with that said that means that um, hopefully I'll have an opportunity to bring back more of the projects that I make using the yarn that I have and as I'm organizing it I'm trying to put little notes with the yarn so I can remember where I got it from because I have stuff now from my yarn box. I have some from um, when I did the knit crate. I have things that I received from yarn swaps. And so there's different sources that I receive on top of the fact that I buy yarn. So once I bring that all together and get it all organized. I think I'm going to do something and show you all how I'm getting myself organized so that I will have a plan in mind in pairing my yarn with the patterns that I want to use that I have um, currently. And it also makes it so that I'm a little more organized so that I can show you all what I'm using and what patterns I'm using, etc. Because I don't, when I'm, once I'm making them, I don't really think about it a lot. But when I'm messaged and I receive questions, it'll be great to have a place to point you to where all that information is so that I don't have to remember because oh, there will be several things going on at one time. So with that said, I hope that you have a fantastic day and that this message finds you in good spirits. And if not, that seeing this yummy yarn <laughs> causes a boost in your spirit. Um, I will see you all hopefully sooner than later. I look forward to interacting with you in the comments section. As always, don't forget to give me a thumb up if you enjoy seeing these videos and I will talk with you all hopefully sooner than later. Take care and goodbye.